Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. We're gonna play some Gengar in the jungle here. The usual. The best. Around, you know. Please don't touch my dog. Thank you. Use that, make sure you guys use that fluffy tail, you know. I always say. If you got it, you better use it. I need to hurry up and get this clear done. I feel like I'm behind already. I feel it. But I'm not. We're doing pretty good. Nice. Let's move up. That's not good. I really shouldn't bother with that until I hit level 5. Nice. Going up here. I don't think I can kill Snorlax, but I can definitely do some damage to him. Never mind, we got it. Take this out really, really quick. Good job. Come back here, bird. What are you gonna do? Like, hello? Alright, cool. But I really don't want to lose these coins here. I'll throw that at him right quick. You need to leave, Bulbasaur? What are you doing? Okay. That's what we're doing, alright. Nice. It's gonna be one of these games, huh? don't have... Now I do. Cool. Turn in quick. Turn in real fast and keep on moving. Go back down here to the jungle. Need to evolve really quick. We're almost there. this last camp and we should be fine. Nice. Go wreck some havoc down here in this bot lane. Tremillion's behind. Both of these guys are back here. Hi buddy. Nice. I will take this. It's gonna reset a little bit. We should be able to take it. Hopefully. Nice. What are you doing, silly goober? Good job. All right. this turn in real fast. Nice. Well, you're gonna die, buddy. Good job. I'm gonna leave here. Charmeleon, are you okay? This is one of those games where I just wreck face with Gengar. Talent Flame. Oh, so, excuse me. Almost Talent Flame. Take that out as well. We're gonna turn in here. Take out Snorlax. Cast over again. I mean, you might as well. Eventually, they'll stop showing up over here. Is that always good for them? Yeah, they went top instead. Like, Gengar is down bullet lane. Don't go there.
Well, you know, surprise. I'm old. See ya. Nice. I don't know where they went to, but I'm not going to worry about it. Hello. I went to sleep. That was unfortunate. They got that, it's fine. Pikachu, oh, got that already. I'll take that as well. Nice. Yeah. This is what happens when I generally get Gengar. Even if my teammates are doing so good, I can still carry the squad. Generally. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? Get up out of here. Bro, you're level 9. Like, you are severely under level. It's not even funny. Like, I can just... I can just do this all day. This team is welcome for the carry. See you. Grab this right quick. Keep moving. It's my jungle buff. Give it a second. Three, two, one. There they are. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Cute. Catch you later. I can get a pentakill here. Is it gonna happen? I don't think so. So close. Oh, I did. Got a five right there. Kill all five. This is when the game still, guys. If I don't get there in time, we could lose. Oh boy. I lag. Let's go. There we go. Let's roll in. Take that out. Take that out. There we go. Fluffy tail. What are you doing, bud? Get out of here. I'll take care of the, uh, you know, problems. It's fine. Uh, okay, Snorlax, I'm gonna go here, bud. Alright. Dunk. Nuke. 460. I feel like we had more than that. Well, that's fine. Another fun Gengar dominance video, you know, no big deal. Just assert yourself, Gengar, so you gotta do. 31. 31 kills. It's gotta be a new record. <laughs> that is nutty. Alright. I can see it. Pretty good. Well, you know. How well did we do here? Let's find out. Let's see. We got some decent points, right? 25? That's good. Does that break our loose streak? I hope so. Targeting getting bad teams. It looks like even with a bad team, you can still pull off the W when you play Gengar correctly. Let me go ahead and show you guys uh, the best items that I find on Gengar. The best items that I have the most success with on Gengar. Your list may be different than mine, but hey, that's what opinions are for. Let me show you what I'm running. And down in the comment section, I want to know what you guys are running. So these are all the items that I currently have in Pokemon Unite. I don't have these unlocked yet. I haven't felt the need to actually like want to playtest them just yet. But I am going to playtest them here soon. There's a couple of... Uh, Pokemon items here that I have ideas for. 
but those will be released on a different video, you know. But for right now, let me show you what Gengar is currently using, what I like to uh, swap out occasionally, depending on my team comp. So, generally speaking, for my Gengar, this is what I run here, right? Now, most of the time, I always take spec or wise glasses, just because it gives me a flat damage increase with 21. It gives me a percent special attack increase as well. These are just raw numbers right here. This is all this does, just adds extra damage. It helps me when it comes to taking out monster camps in the early game. I don't notice a huge difference other than that, but I know that without these glasses, it's a little bit slower just taking out the jungle camps. Then we have the good old shell bell. This is one of my favorite items in the game. Not only for the stats that it gives you, but what it gives you. For Gengar himself, considering he is, how you say, like, not very durable, squishy, the Shell Bell helps sustain himself a little while longer in team fights. Because as soon as you hex to a target, it's their job to either A, not die, or B, lock you down. So it's kind of rough, especially when you don't get that kill. You know what I mean? You jump in hoping to kill that backline or kill whoever is a lower target, and they somehow out bamboozle you you're kind of stuck there and you're like wow what do i do next considering my abilities are on cooldown do i just sit here and auto attack i mean you gotta do what you gotta do in this scenario so yeah you're gonna auto attack and you're not gonna do very much damage the thing with shell bell is when you land an ability you gain a little bit of hp it helps you stay alive a little bit a little bit longer and the added uh, cooldown percent helps your abilities come up quicker you may get another reset before they instantly just kill you and then you have Floatstone, arguably the best item in the game. The best item in the game. Why do I say this? It's because the Floatstone's passive ability. It gives you 20% increased movement speed, flat, and then it also gives you 80 points of movement speed. Now the reason why that's so good, out of combat movement speed is crazy when it comes into being in the jungle. Like you can maneuver to your camps a lot quicker, you can traverse the map to counter juggle quicker, you can come out of ganking quicker. Everything about Floatstone gives you mobility. Mobility is something that's extremely, extremely important for speedster Pokemon. It's not so much the attack flat stat. That also helps when you're clearing as well with your auto attacks. Most of the time you're using Sludge Bomb Hex on a jungle camp anyway. But at the same time, it helps in the early game. But you're really after this for the movement speed. This item is crucial on a lot of Pokemon. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other items you can run on Gengar. There aren't too many that you want to do, but there's a lot of ones that you can do. Like for example, we can go with this if we wanted to. This only helps with your auto attacks though, it doesn't really help with your abilities. It, it says basic attack hits. So this would help you if you're auto attacking for your third enhanced auto, this will help you with that, give you a little bit more oomph to that third hit. But I don't necessarily recommend this when you can run some other items to get better results. These are the other glasses that I typically used to run. These are absolutely incredible. There's no reason why that I wouldn't add these on if there was a fourth slot. You know what I mean? But there's only three. So you have to choose wisely on which items you can take. These are phenomenal, but the problem is, I think with these specs, is the fact that once you get to higher ranking, you're not gonna score all the time. You're not gonna be playing to score all the time. You're gonna be playing until Zapdos spawns, winning or losing. Once Zapdos spawns, that's when the game really kicks it up a notch. That's when you can decide who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, when Zapdos spawns. So these specs don't really serve you a stupid amount of stats until late game. That's if you get the Zapdos, for example. Now, the reason why I say it like that is because in the early game, on higher ranks, it's a lot harder to just walk up and score. You know what I mean? People are going to be expecting you to just, you know, hang around and score. Hey, there's a Gengar here who's running rampant in the jungle. They're going to be a little bit more cautious, but 
if you can pull this off in general, like these specs add a lot of damage to your abilities. But I don't think it's necessarily consistent, if that makes sense. Now, we have tank items for Gengar. We have the score shield. If you're a fan of this, or a fan of this item on general, in general, this item is very strong when it comes to junglers. Only junglers. Now, I'd run this on some speedsters. Not all of them, just some of them. This gives you a shield and you can't be interrupted when you try to, when you try to score. So that's great. You come out of the jungle, just go straight for scoring, and then you go back to doing whatever you feel like doing. The other decent item that I can run on Gengar, but you lose out a lot of damage, is Rocky Helmet. This adds a bit of durability to you. This keeps you alive longer, but there's not really necessarily a point. At least I haven't found a point yet, depending on what they do to my damage or what they do to the Pokemon in general when it comes to nerfs and buffs. A durability item may be good on Gengar, it may make his other builds more reliable. But right now, we just, we're just going with Sludge Bomb Hex, that's the way to go. So you want to be able to kill a target as quickly as possible. But yeah guys, that's what I've been running on my Gengar, that's what I've been having a lot of success with. Hopefully you guys can post down in your comment section what items you enjoy, what items that you have success with on certain Pokemon, what's your favorite Pokemon, you know, let me know. Alright guys, looks like uh, that was a pretty fun game there. And I'm getting 31 kills, kind of insane. Yeah, I swear Gengar's numbers just are crazy high. We all know it. I think eventually they'll tune them down and we'll get a whole different Pokemon. Not kit-wise, but, you know, stat-wise. He'll do a lot less damage. But hey, when is that going to happen? Until now, just enjoy your favorite ghosty while you can. Anyway, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's getting a little bit late here. Need to finally get some sleep. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys tomorrow. Pause out.